Today I want to show you a quick demo of WillAware's SOPPOP Multilink module. SOPPOP Multilink provides superior flexibility in creating and maintaining links between backordered sales lines and purchase orders. Features of SOPPOP Multilink include creating links from a single sales order line to multiple purchase order lines, creating links from single purchase order lines to multiple sales order lines, easily adding and removing links, setting the priority of sales order fulfillment so that when PO lines are partially received, the highest orders are fulfilled first, and lastly, create and maintain links without having access to sales transaction entry or purchase order entry. Now, let's get into the demo. First, I'd like to show you the process of linking multiple purchase orders to a sales order line. Here we have a sales order for 100 units. Like standard uh, GP SOPOP linking, I can click on the icon here to open up the new SOPOP linking window. So far, I have no links, but you can see I have 100 back ordered and I have still 100 remaining to be linked. So the first step I will do is assign purchase orders. To do that, let's click on the plus sign here, and that'll open up the PO selection window. And this window will display all purchase orders that are open and have quantity available to link for that particular item. These, uh, this list of purchase orders can be sorted by PO number or required date. And by changing the sort order, it will then affect how the auto assign function will work. Auto assign allows you to quickly assign purchase orders from the top of the list down until the entire sales order quantity has been fulfilled to a purchase order. In this case, I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and I have a few purchase orders here that I'd like to pull from. If I click on the box beside PO2164, two things will happen. One, the available quantity on that purchase order goes from 10 down to zero because now that PO line has been um, linked to the sales order line. And then you can also see my quantity back ordered of 100 stays there, but my quantity remaining goes down by 10 as well. So I can continue selecting purchase orders and doing so will link that purchase order line to the sales order line. So in this case, I'm going to link two purchase orders, one for 10, one for 20. And that provides me with um, 30 to be linked. Now these purchase orders will show up in the SOP pop linking window. From here, I can either modify the amount of that purchase order I want to link, or I can delete the line completely by using the delete row function. When I click done and return to sales transaction entry, I am now given an icon to indicate that that sales line has been linked. Linking from the purchase order side follows the same concepts. Here I have a purchase order for 1,000 items. I can click in the line and select the commitments button to open up the pop SOP linking window. Uh, this window uh, is very much the same as from the sales order side. However, it's, um, it has a few additional features here and I'll show them to you in a second. The scrolling window will show any sales orders that is are currently linked to the purchase order. In this case, I have none. So we will click the plus sign to bring up the sales order selection window. And this window will display all sales orders that um, belong to the location south, same location as the purchase order, and they will be listed based on requested ship date. I can change this to cancel date or master number if I wish to resort them. And the same idea applies that the auto assign is going to grab the first sales order, allocate as much as it can, and then move on to the next one until the um, purchase order has been completely uh, assigned to sales orders. 
So in this case, I'm going to select as my first sales order, um, order 2295. And the same idea here applies. The remaining went from 50 down to zero and the assigned quantity went from zero to 50. And also my remaining to assign has gone down. So I'm gonna to continue to select sales orders, 2294 and 2293. And once I am done that, I'll click done. So then that takes me back to the pop stop linking window. And this window is where we can set the priority of which we want the, our orders to be fulfilled. So I selected 2295 first and then 94 and then 93. But let's say I wanted the 2294 to be fulfilled first, just in case I don't receive the full purchase order. I can click in this line and then I can use the up down arrows to resort. So in this case, I'm going to click up. And now when um, purchase order, uh, when this purchase order has been received, uh, it will ensure that order 2294 gets fulfilled before any other of the sales orders. So here again, we've got the icon to indicate that we do in fact have a link in place. I wanna quickly show you two windows that we've included in this product that allows users to perform linking operations without requiring access to sales transaction entry or purchase order entry. The first window is the item PO assignments window. In this window, the user would select an item in the header and when they do so, all the purchase orders for that item are displayed. Um, as, I can, as we can see, here are the three purchase orders that we've been working with so far. If I cl click on one of those purchase orders, I have it open somewhere. So we'll click on this one. As you can see, it now it lists all the sales orders that are linked to that purchase order. And I can do the same sort of operations I did from the PO side where I can assign additional sales orders and I can also change priorities. The second window that we offer is called PO review. And in this case, you choose a purchase order in the header and then that lists all the items found on the purchase order. And from there you can select an item and it functions the same way in that it lists all the sales orders that are available to be linked and you can use the assign quantity field to um, add links. So in this case, I want to now link um, order 2274. So to do that, I can just enter a number up to four and then it adds it to the linked um, sales orders. Now let's receive a purchase order. In this example, I'm going to do a partial receipt on PO 2163. The PO was for a thousand items, but in this case, I'm only going to receive 15. So when I tab out of that and I enter in my bin, I'll take a look at what the uh, what's going to happen to the sales orders. So I'll click on the little chain icon and that brings up the linked PO receiving window. This window shows all the sales orders that are linked to that PO line. Um, how much were assigned to the PO and then now how much is going to be fulfilled. So because I set order 2294 as my highest priority sales order, that will be fulfilled first with the first 10. And then the remaining received quantity is going to automatically roll into 2295. But let's say we don't want that to happen. The purchase order is for a thousand. We're only um, linking, I have 134 here. So there's lots of PO left that are not linked. So they don't have to go to a sales order necessarily. So I don't want to link 2295. So I'm just going to click a zero there. Okay, so effectively what will happen is that 10 of the quantity being received will fulfill a sales order and the rest will just go in inventory as available to be um, used elsewhere. And so then my orders 2295, 2293, and 2274 will remain unfulfilled.
I could also um, move it on down the line and I could say, okay, no, instead I want to link this and I could set it to five if I want it as well, but I'm not going to do that. So let's hit done. And we're going to receive these five. So now that these five are received, let's see what happened to the sales order. So the 10 here uh, are no longer linked to anything because they've been received. And we do have the 10 that were back order have been moved to invoice and they have been fulfilled as well. And it fulfilled with the same bin that I received it into. The same applies to serial items and lot items. If this was a serialized item, then the 10 received serial numbers would then be fulfilled to this order um, and ready to invoice. If you would like to find out more about SOPPOP multi-linking, please visit us on our website at willaware.com or email us at sales at willaware.com. Thank you.